It's time now for your science buzz stories that are creating a little bit of a buzz in the science world and this morning I'm giving you your forecast and a local one for a possible interstellar excitement. Astronomers are predicting a chance of a spectacular meteor storm tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning. The night sky could dazzle with as many as 1000 shooting stars in an hour, but this could also end up being a total dud. NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office says the peak may be around 1 or 2 a.m. Tuesday morning and should be visible high in the sky over North America. That is if this outburst occurs. So they're saying there's a chance, but it's not a guarantee. All right, did researchers just discover a drug used to treat HIV may also have another unexpected use? It's possible. They say an HIV drug appears to reverse a type of memory loss in mice, according to a Nature publication UCLA researchers uh, published. They identified a way to restore this brain function in middle-aged mice, mice rather, using the FDA-approved drug Maraviroc. The findings suggest a new method for strengthening human memory and a possible early intervention for dementia. And we're going to close with this story. Researchers are over the moon about a recent landmark achievement. They have finally grown plants in lunar soil, that's soil from the moon, for the first time. They used samples collected during the Apollo missions to the moon. A study detailing the experiments has been published in the Journal of Communications Biology. They say it could lay the foundation for growing plants that supply oxygen and food on the moon. NASA hopes to land the first woman and first person of color at the lunar south pole later this decade.